One v one left this evening. Only one spot remains in the round of 16 for the winner of our next match on the blue side and playing for Team Fire. He's got his own move. Are you mad, bro? It's Madlife. Y en el otro lado tiene el nombre de un arma porque es un asesino. El doble finalista mundial. Rata ta 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 ta. Rata ta 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 ta. Come on, James. All right, man, give us a show! They're getting more and more crazy up there. It's day one. It's, it's <laughs> only day one, yeah. There's a lot of 1v1s to go. We have them every single day. Tomorrow is obviously the other side of the bracket. I feel like tomorrow they'll come arrive, like they'll arrive with like a group of backup dancers and they've like a whole choreography, <laughs> you know, like, like Britain's Got Talent, like they go on to the next show, <laughs> see what they can do. Um, tomorrow's all. The Koreans, except for Madlife, playing. Uh, that's where Team Fire really brings out the big guns. But so far, Southeast Asian guys have actually won the two games they've played, yep. so they're trying their best. Madlife versus Uzi, though. A matchup you've been dying to see pretty much whenever, except when it's 1v1. Yeah, uh, the 1v1 is not something normally you want to see on Summoner's Rift between a support and an AD carry. Ergot ban against Madlife. I feel like Uzi has to be just this has to be his wheelhouse. I mean, you are in a mode where 80 carries are like the strongest. I'm but the, pretty e sure. Even within good. 80 carries, like if you look at the likes of like, is Yellow Pete the greatest 1v1 of all time? Probably not. Probably though. not. His support was pretty bad as well, though. Uh, he did like get trained to carry hard, but if you look at like Uzi, master of like weaving auto attacks in between. True. Master uh, of Bane as well. Um, another little funny random story. Uh, there was a 1v1 tournament in China, and he tried to play Master Yi. Uh, Kelsey Mosa told me, and uh, apparently we went so terribly wrong that we probably won't see it again. Yeah. Uh, it was really bad for him, and then he had like uh, the Royal Club, they put up like a vote for which AD carry he should play. They voted for Caitlyn, but you're never gonna get Caitlyn if you're Uzi yeah. in this mode. Obviously the first ban for Mad Life. That is a great story. I'm glad you like my stories. I, I got more. AD fresh. It is Mad Life, after all, his Blitzcrank. It's also a thing he's very, very famous for. I'd actually love to see him actually play it. I mean, Uzi will, will just play the Bane. Madlife should also think that, oh, Uzi changing. Want something a better. Yeah, I'm just gonna want to run a Bane into a Quinn. I like the Quinn though. I think Quinn is so good in 1v1. Yeah. Especially if you can if you can get the bird on the range creeps and the enemy champion again, then you can just generate so much push. Varus though was very good earlier today. Oh, at level six. If you get back from base with turbo speed, you can actually swing waves and just keep the pressure up. Can, but you can also lose the, the poking war against the virus and then suddenly he ultis you and, and as a Quinn, well you kinda need to be close enough to, to bounce on something to really mm -hmm. dodge a skill shot like that and that can be can be an issue for, for Mad Life, but with the blind from Quinn, you definitely do have some tools that help you in the <laughs> 1v1. Figures watching them. Amateurs. <laughs> Where's the Nivea? <laughs> What's happening? He's definitely not getting baited into an Nivea 1v1. Uh, one because <laughs> the champion is actually Really bad in 1v1s right now, and two frog is not here, so... No, he was only in the video, but he's actually not here at the event. Another so bait by the casters. Yeah, again, we're like, we're trying to trick people a lot here. This time with picks, though, you guys saw them. It was Quinn, it was yeah. Varus. Summoner spells, no real surprises. It's barrier, it's exhaust. Maybe the only thing we could have seen was Mad Love actually running Ignite. For, for the all-in. Yeah. But that's, uh... Barrier feels like a fail-safe. If you're already winning an all-in, you're... To say this, like, he might walk away, but the, the benefits you get from it is probably just a bit preferential base timing and a couple of extra CS up. And if you ever get caught into a battle, and the guy's never going to help you. So in that sense, playing it safe with a barrier in case you miscalculate is the safer approach. Mad Life did uh, forget his trinket. Not the end of the world, but it does help you. I mean, there are some well, brush yeah, especially now that brush uh, that Greenfather's gift is in there. Exactly, you can just be used to spot the guy in in, in the brush. Especially when you're playing skill shot champs. Like, it doesn't matter if you're a melee like auto attack range with only point and click, because then having knowledge that the guy's in the brush is really going to help you. But if you know roughly where he is, you could actually predict skill shots. Should see Uzi go with the E as well, level one. Yes, he has picked it. I'll just check on my own screen over here. Just uh, better for. Level one trading and also the potential push if you get you can actually get it on almost all the minions like we saw. Yeah, really so great the there. There, And he got to hit Mad Life. Uh, follow up trade watered by Mad Life though. Oh, Uzi could have maybe just went for more creeps. Seems to be a pattern. Get one creep, get an auto attack. Sometimes gets punished. 
chain auto attacks coming out here. Again, it is the push to level two. Exactly. The, the trading early on is not that impactful because you just don't have enough damage to really take them down. People have enough sustain with the Dornus Blade coming in. Yeah, three creeps up here for Uzi, which means he actually has quite a bit to play with. You only need one range creep, and then you can just switch to the melee. That also gets you level two, so you, it's actually six creeps if you... Just get more melees. This is Trigger now. Man Life is only level one. He got level two now, and then he goes straight for the all in. Yeah. I feel like Uzi got baited there. Thought Mad Life would be level one for a bit longer because of the range keep still being alive. That one on the bottom right there, that was kind of, kind of low. Mad Life got a great trade there. Despite being down on CS again, this is probably a matchup. If you keep it close enough CS that there's not a full Dorns difference on your base, exactly. It's fine. Also, again, if when you're playing against Varus and Jace is so early, like someone felt like trading the mana from them. Mad Life is taking another good trade. It gets a few hits from the minis, actually, it ended up being yeah. quite bad for him. And he also missed position on the map because Relic was spawning and he positioned to the top side. Uzi just walks straight down to the bottom. Yeah, in a vacuum, this trade was nice because he goes for the for the blind dash damage with the vision reset in the brush, but he's playing at the opposite side, so he loses Relic. Yeah, that is really, really important. Uzi got both Relics here, so good advance for him. And again, that mana we talked about, well, it goes back to 100%. And Mad Life keeps trying to trade. But he's losing out. Because also these minions are always chasing after him. Yeah, especially if he goes later on. It's probably no points in Q yet for Uzi, but if he does the same trade later on again, what's gonna happen is on the back end of his auto attacks is obviously the Q to proc those stacks then. I mean this is great for Uzi, honestly. Whenever he is taking trades, he's standing into his counter minion. This is the first time he ignored the minions and went for it. And he actually got punished quite a bit. Yeah, he predicted my life jumping in there, but the Q itself just wasn't enough. Remember, these guys still have exhaust and barrier. But, but it might be worth using it on the front and more often here. I mean, here Uzi could have just waited for the minion wave because, again, he's standing next to his caster minions. And whenever Mad Life jumps him, caster minions turn and hit Mad Life as well. But I feel like he almost wanted Mad Life to come out the brush there. Just get a Q in the face, two autos, E proc. But didn't really give Uzi that big of an advantage compared to what we've seen before this one here. Mad Life has I'm been saying close, he was right. You're saying that's what he wanted. But once again, Mad Life, you're on the wrong side. Mad Life's like, what are these things that keep spawning? Yeah, that's not to understand the relics at all. Uzi's been getting two free relics now. And that is pretty huge. Because yeah, mana, mana translated to health, that was just a disrespect Q. I don't like need this Q. That was a God Q, don't worry. <laughs> God V Qs go backwards. Yeah, true. Now they just miss. See, I wonder why they even hit the tower. That, that is the question I have. Like, I know it's a habit from AD carries, but you're never going to kill that tower in the 1v1. Maybe he's waiting for the melee minions to get in position. You can still interrupt this one with Q, yeah. People really also gotta learn how to recall. Like, if you actually do want to recall Press there, B. just please just like, you know, step Step away away from the turret. Step away from that turret. Unless they're all baiting to like, force a spell to be used, so... I don't guys, think they're all baiting. Matter. Probably not. It's actually funny, because we think a lot of these players know exactly what they're doing in the 1v1 mode, and then you stand behind them when they actually do Yeah, practice. then you walk into the room. They have no clue what they're doing. That is like, can I trade? Can I kill this guy? Let's go! Oh. Uh, it's all a ruse. You walk into the room and then you realize they're just improvising. They're really good at improvising. Don't get me wrong. Although Uzi probably knows what he's doing. I feel like Uzi has uh, been in this situation before. He also didn't go with with the Master Yi pick, so he's taking it very, very serious. Mad Life, look at that one. Do not hit the minion before the tower. There you go. And now it's hard because the minions will hit it. Ooh. Sword extra because of the CS differential. It's an annoying thing with the minions. Good base here from Uzi. And uh, Mad Life got his first relic when he was already full HP. Congratulations. He's so used to losing them. <laughs> he's like, I just want this now. He didn't have to take it because his wave <laughs> is pushing towards Uzi anyway. It's just like, I will not see another one of my relics <laughs> being lost to Uzi. So, pushing out. So, Mad Life gets combat sets if he can surprise Uzi with the ulti, but it's pretty obvious when he turns into a giant bird. Yeah, and uh, he actually didn't even skill the ulti because it's so hard exactly for him to why. use it properly and got a lot of mana early on as well. Just went for another rank into his E, so he's like E, Q, 3 in E, 2 in Q. That yeah. is where he's uh, focusing right now. Where Uzi, of course, took his ulti on the barrel. Uzi might actually go for counter engage you with ulti. Oh, he missed it! Uzi, you had the minions in your favor. You just had to stun the guy. You'd force his defensive summoners. The LP would land that I want. Well, Mad Life, he's near the relic, but it's not there because he took it before. It's like, where is this thing? Maybe spawn is like he's on. He's learning. Yeah, he's learning. He's adapting. Another good proximity trade here. Q misses, obviously. Blocked by a minion. He's 
He's actually on this. There we Got go. It. Mad life this time around. He gets it. Success story, honestly. Proving it's very important though that particular relic. Right now Uzi has to wait for his next ultimate to come up. Because Mad Life in, in 1v1 trades is obviously gonna win. Quinn is catered to be a duelist. Virus obviously sent his arm pushing down. Poking. Poking. Which has been pretty effective for Uzi, but he's gonna hate himself for missing that ulti before. That was a game winning ulti. That's such a good position to just get these summoners away from Mad Life. I like actually the sustain buy as well. Uh it is so important because Mad Life are not all inning like Uzi and just killing him 100% to zero. He's like jumping him two or three times. Yeah, the second set of all ins and he will only pull the trigger to go real hard if Uzi stays below that 60% health mark. And he still has two minion advantage once he's picked up all these minions here. Mad Life again jumping in and Uzi winning the trade. Ooh, this is rough for Mad Life. So at worst, he'll have to base here. And then he's too far down in CS, honestly. Yeah, so that's a great chain, and now the sustain. So Uzi technically doesn't have to base anymore at all, because it's not like Mad Life is picking up more items. If Mad Life bases again, then Uzi will just get to the 100 CS here. So this is a really good opportunity. Also, he's killing in more spells in the, or rank ups right now, so the AOE just keeps increasing. So it makes it much, much easier to get the CS to keep the push going. And he knows he can use the relics to get mana back, even though he doesn't need it for HP. So he can just keep flying away. Like every time you take one relic, it's like one ability you can use yep. extra. And that's, that's all he needs. Couple minor things as well. All attacks two creeps to get the stack on. The E then finishes them off completely. Could finish off some other creeps after. Again, just trying to optimize. Push your keeping Mad Life locked up. We're looking at a 9 CS differential, 11 CS differential rather. And serrated Dirk here for from Mad Life. Again, it's not often we get to see like completed items. Obviously, this is not fully completed just yet, but he has gone for that one. And with the lith lethality change, while it's not as effective in the early game anymore with the pure armor pin. Serrated Dirk just gives him extra lethality. And at level 8, it actually evens out with yeah. the old one, with the old armor penetration. Uh, so it is fine now because Uzi is level 8 and it's on enemy level. Yeah, Mad Life wants to go here. He really wants to keep Uzi away from the wave. Really good trade. That's a dodge ulti now, though. Because he's got stuck against minions coming in. Yeah, a lot of minions coming taking. Uh, I feel like more. Uzi could have kept going on that trade, especially since he had barrier and he had minion assistance. The fact that he goes to base right now. But he wants to play it so safe because he has the CS advantage. He didn't want to risk no matter what. Even if he looks back and probably said, yes, I could have taken that yeah, trade. Yeah. Um, I think he also just saw the upfront damage. Now that again, that armor penetration or lethality is kicking in mm -hmm. from Mad Life here with Liberate, as we mentioned before. It's only going to get stronger in that case. But I think he just literally said, I'm going to play super safe. I am winning on CS. And we're so close to 100. If Mad Life bases one more time, he has to skill the birdie. This could be the thing. If he gets level 9, bases, gets bird up, he has basically two ways to do it. Let's see how close he is. He's a half level away. Pretty far. Maybe a mistake for not skilling the ultimate here. It's kind of an emergency evacuation yeah. pod. Now he's down in this trade here. Uzi's going for it. Getting Mad Life extremely low. But not once again, run. not chasing. Second. Not chasing, just taking the free CS right in front of him. He needs to get level 9 for the ulti now. Honestly, it's an all-in. 13 CS remain, two waves, and Uzi does everything perfectly. Um, Uzi's not gonna miss CS here. Like, he's not really under pressure. So used to farming as well. Getting every single one. One more wave for Uzi. That means Mad Life needs to all-in without barrier, without ulti. There he gets level 9. Is he skill? Doesn't skill nope, it. Doesn't skill ulti. Is he going the... for... But he has to go in here and do this wave. Uzi can just like focus on the minions all the way down. That's what he's doing. One E onto the cast. I mean, they're dead. He has Mad Life. He's going for it. Won't be able to do anything because he's in the minions as well. Mad Life is just in such a tough spot. Uh, Q doesn't connect. Looking for another Vault Boy. For minions. Two more minions. The casters. No Q because he missed it. That's over. That's over. Uzi playing in control. We've seen other players go for crazy all hits, even when they actually would win. No tower shots. Uzi is 100% serious here. He's a man who can win this 1v1 tournament.